Our next step in a skills-based way of solving the cube is to deal with this white cross, is to learn how to make the white cross. And all of these edges match the center. So we have the blue edge matches the blue center, red, white edge matches white and red center, green, white, green, white, orange, white edge matches the orange, white center. We are gonna come back in just a moment with a scrambled cube so we can figure out how to solve the white cross. We're going to talk about how to solve for the white cross and there are two important tools to be able to use. I'm going to talk about the first tool here and I'm always going to start with three parts of the cross already done and so we have white and red is connected, blue and white is connected, and orange and white is connected. So we just have to find this green center and then we will have our white cross. The first tool is we have green and white so it's on the bottom that's lucky for us. We're going to bring this around so that green connects to this white. And now we can just bring this to the top. And that is how we connect that. We're going to try this with another color. And so we have the top part of the cross is finished. We have red. And we're looking for that red white center. Here is the red white center that I moved just a moment ago. I'm going to bring this red part, the red bottom around until it matches the red center. And now that red center is ready to move clockwise or counterclockwise twice to the top. Let me change blue. And so we have blue and white here, and you're gonna to work to match the blue to the blue center. And now you can spin that up. And we'll make orange go away. So we have one, two, three, center is set and now we're going to match the orange center now we'll bring that to the top that is one of the tools i'm going to scramble the cube and show you the second of the tools here's our cube and we have no parts of the white cross here and so the first thing we want to do is we want to find one of the colors that we can bring to the top and have white on top there there. <laughs> so white is connected there and we'll spin this around to get the green connected. Okay. The next thing we do is that we look along the bottom to see where a white is on the bottom. So we have blue and white there and we have orange and white here. This orange is ready to connect to its orange center. So we connect the orange center to the white. And now we can spin this up. We can bring orange white to the top and now it's connected to the white center and we did not change anything on this green center. And so now we don't have any more along the bottom, so we have to, we can deal with this blue and white. Blue and white here is connected to the blue, and so we can go away, and I just turned that to the left, and so I bring the left face up, and now it connects to the blue center, and now we can bring that up to the top. When we did that, we were lucky because now that white and red goes to the bottom and you can connect that to the red center. And now we have white connected to red and so we need to move away from our friend. We bring that face up so it's connected. And then we bring that white to the top. And because we move this blue off so that we can bring our red friend up, we bring the blue friend up and now we have a white cross. White cross. We have a very scrambled cube here. We have the white center and luckily in this case we have one easy point and so we have this white red edge and we're going to go ahead and connect that with our red center. We just found the next edge and so this is blue and white and so we can have the red facing forward. We spin blue down and so now that blue white edge is ready to connect to the blue center. So we have the blue center and we only spun the bottom face. And so now we have the red, blue, we have the red and white still connected. We're gonna bring this up. And so now blue and white and red and white are done. I see orange and white here. And so now we're gonna bring orange down and now this is a different way of managing this. So we have white. White is facing you, just like this green and white edge, but we're going to deal with orange first. White is facing you, so that means the white is going to come up here. So it needs to go away from orange, 
And then it needs to spin up so that the orange edge can touch the orange center. Then we're going to spin this in this case, we're going to spin it counterclockwise. And now white is up along with the rest of the white. And at that same time, we happen to fix the green at the same time. So we have orange and white, we have blue and white, red and white, green and white, and we have the white cross. We don't care about that white corner yet. The white cross is what's important. And so what we're gonna do now, because we're building skill, we are going to scramble the cube and we'll be back in just a moment. And so we have a scrambled cube again, and this time we have white and blue connected to white already. So I'm just gonna bring the blue center around and we're gonna keep that while we find the other edges. I see white and green here. And so I'm gonna bring the green down away from the white. And so now I'm going to connect this green here to the green center, the green face. And we notice that we have white here touching. So it has to go away. And so it can go away to the right or to the left. Let's go to the left this time. And so because we left our friend, we're now gonna bring this left slice, the left face up. And now greens are connected, white is ready to come up to the top. And so now we have white and green, and we still have blue and white. Okay, let's find another face. We have this red and white here, red and white. And so we come up here, we connect it. And last time we brought the bottom to the left side. Let's bring the bottom to the right. And so we bring the white and red to the right. And now we're going to spin this up. Now, when we do this, we're going to turn our blue face to the side. We're just going to do it for a moment and then we'll come back and we'll fix it. So red and white goes to the right. Red and white connects. Now we're going to spin red and white up. And because we changed our blue and white, we come back here and we bring it back to the top. So we have blue and white, red and white, and green and white. We have one more edge. And this edge, in this case, orange and white, is all set to go up. We go up, we have another white cross. White cross with one, two, three, four edges matching the center. We're going to scramble this up and try it again. I've scrambled my white cross again. And this time we have green that is connected to the top. And so I'm gonna spin this around until I find the green face, the green center. And now we're going to, all right, I see blue and white here. I see red and white here and orange and white there. Ah, this is gonna be a lot of the moving away and then coming back. And so let's deal with this red and white face first. And so it's already connected but we just have to switch this around to the other side. So we go away, we spin the right face, we went to the right, so we spin the right up, and now we can spin that front face because white is ready to come up. Now white connects, red connects, and green and white still connects. Okay, we have this blue and white right here, and now this blue and white is ready to go up. Uh, we have orange and white connected to this orange center. So now we need to go away and we can go either direction. If we go to the right, we're going to bring the right face up. So you see orange comes up now, orange is connected. Now we fix this, comes up. And now we need to bring this green and white back to the top and we're set. We have a white cross. For this last example, I wanted to show there are no white edges on top. We have this white edge, white and orange edge here that is connected there, but that is not gonna help us out. We have red and white here, but it's not connected to red or blue. So we will keep looking. We have this blue and white edge here, and we have, oh, we have green and white connected here already to green. So this is a case where we can spin this clockwise. We can bring up that side and now it's connected to the white center. So white and green is set. Since orange here is connected, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this white orange to the bottom like we've done before. And now we can bring this, because the green is already done, we can bring orange and white to the left. We're gonna bring the bottom up on the left. 
Now orange is connected. Now we're going to spin this clockwise. And now orange and white is connected to the white. Orange and green is still connected. Let's find another edge. We have red here. Now I've spun this around so that the bottom white is connected to red, is connected to the red center. And now you can spin this either direction, clockwise or counterclockwise. And now this red is connected to the white and you have three edges finished. And here is blue and white. Oh, amazing. In this case, I can just spin this up and I moved the blue and white to the top. So we have another example of the white cross.